Hi, I'm Bernie with County Systems, and today we're going to be making a Unisub product and adding another dimension to it. What I've done is I've sublimated two separate pieces of our Chromalux, and I've added mounting hardware on the back. What we're going to do is we're going to put some spacers in between. We're going to give it a 3D effect right off the frame. And coming off the wall with the mounting piece, this is going to look great. It's going to be a real unique product. And we love Chromalux, it always makes a really good image. So this is a way to make a good product better. What we're going to do today is press two different pieces. The items I have brought with me are two different Unisub. This is the glossy, we've already pressed the mat. I brought several different wedges for 3D effects. If you have something where you only have the double stick on one side, you can just use glue on the other. Either way works. Heat tape. The image I'd like to display. And this one's a little different. You can see just the edging of where we're going to put our picture. And I have a couple sheets of protective paper. What I'm going to do first is put my pieces, just the edges, on the corner of my press. Let the protective film bubble up a bit and it'll make it easier to remove. And it's metal, so it gets very hot very quickly. We don't need it in there too long. Just enough to get an edge going. Do the same thing with my other piece. Now that I've removed the other piece of protective film, I'm going to line up my Chromalux with my images. Add heat tape to hold them in place. And our last piece. With my final piece of heat tape in place, we can move to our press. Place my sheet of protective paper on the bottom. Since it is metal and it gets very hot, we're going to press both pieces at one time. Add another sheet of protective paper on top. And I have my press set at 400 degrees, press for one minute using a medium to heavy pressure. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift and swing away on my press. We'll want to remove our transfers right away, but be very careful because the metal is so hot. Very easy to get your fingers caught. Once I remove my transfer, I'll leave it on the press for a few minutes to cool. And then we'll be able to finish the rest of the assembly. Now that my two pieces have cooled, we're ready to start our assembly. What I've done is I had two mounting blocks, so I put them together so it has a little bit more depth and pops off my background. You can make it as thick as you want. And what I'll do, place it in the center. Keep within my template. Secure her firmly down. This is real neat. It looks like it has a nice matte finish, and then the gloss just pops right off the background. And there we have, we have a 3D Chromalux image.
Now that my images are in place, my last step would be assembling my mounting hardware. And this is just a great product because we love Chrome Lux. Always, always a great product. Clear imaging. It doesn't scratch or dent. You can get several different ideas of ways to present this to your customer. But it's something that you could already be doing and you can do it on any size press. For more products and services, you'll want to be sure to visit our website at condi.com and be sure to check up on our instructions because they do change as our products and equipment change. And watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Bernie Condi Systems and thank you for joining us.